Levels on levels on levels I am, but yeah, y'all thinking y'all better I ain't fucking with these haters right now, they just hang them under like a shackle Trying to drag me down into the dirt like a Hey, sorry guys, so unfortunately I will not be heading to the gym with Isaac today. I'm on my way to Argus because for some weird reason my MacBook Pro last night just stopped working randomly. I was literally on the middle, in the middle of walking on it and then the screen went blank. And I've only had it three months and it's actually quite annoying because everyone knows MacBooks are not cheap devices, they're not. So I still have my VC, I still have my warranty, my one year warranty. So I'm going to head back to Argus and see if there's anything they can do for me. Because it's a serious inconvenience but there's not much I can do about it in fairness, there is not much I can do about it. So I'm just gonna go back, hopefully they can offer me something, they can help me repair or replace it, or I generally don't know, but that's it. That's it. Because of that inconvenience, I'm gonna switch up the vlog style for you today, so I'll see you back at home. All right, all right, okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. All right guys, I'm gonna try to make this as conversational as possible, all right? I want to take you to my new chain and me mesocycle and the uh, foods that I would typically eat in a week. Bussy, you got any comments? No? Shut up then, okay? Good job. Okay, let's get into it. My new mesocycle, it is a sort of volume based linear periodization. All that means is, you know, I'll give you an example. Bench press, this week it's three sets of eight reps, next week it's four sets of seven reps. You can see that the intensity has gone up because the reps has come down, but you can see that the volume has actually increased with the additional set. In terms of my actual muscle group training frequency, the split that I am doing is upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower. That's a muscle group training frequency of three times a week. From the research that I've done and just from all the scientific literature that I've read, I have kind of came to my own conclusion that frequency is better and load, at least load in terms of per session load, isn't as important as we once thought it was. But look, I digress. What I would generally do is I would do bench press first, that's my first movement, three sets of six to eight reps. It targets the chest. I'd move on to T-bar row, targets the upper back. It would be three sets of six to eight reps as well. Next two exercises, next two grouped supersets are, I would normally do shoulder press, three sets of six to eight reps. And then I would do pull-ups for three sets of six to eight reps as well. I would then move on to dumbbell shrugs. I move on to dumbbell shrugs, I'll do eight to 10 reps of three sets, and then I would also do three sets of eight to 10 reps on easy curl barbell row. So that's it for the upper body training, how my upper body session looks. Okay, in terms of what I would eat in a week, I've just, I've arranged everything that I'd normally eat on this table right now. And it comes out at around 30 euro. Now bear in mind that like my, I live with my family, so like my mom would buy stuff like the milk, she'd buy the eggs, she'd buy the bread and things like that. But if you are living alone, I've still calculated how much this comes out to and it's in and around 30 euro. So let's begin. So for Monday's video, you can expect to see what the lower body session looks like as well as the macro breakdown for the foods that I eat. Okay, now let's get cracking. So I would normally have rice, vegetables and chicken for breakfast. It's kind of heavy, I know. I also have pasta sauce for the extra taste. Yeah, it is kind of heavy, but um, you know, that's just me. That's what I like. Then for my post-workout meal, I would have um, porridge oats with whey protein and milk, as well as dark chocolate bits. Then I would move on to, what's next? Oh yeah, I'd move on to bread and eggs. So I'd have three large eggs and I'd have eight slices of brown bread. And because I'm bulking at the minute, that's why I'm taking eight slices of brown bread. If I was cutting, if I was trying to restrict my calories, I'd just take four. Same thing with the porridge oats. I'm having 200 grams of porridge oats uh, daily. If I was cutting, I'd just have 100. So like, don't overcomplicate the process. I have something that I call a safe haven meal. So if I find that I'm finding it difficult to hit some of my macronutrient targets or some of my micronutrient goals, then I would create a meal that's specifically made to reach those targets. Now for me, it's always been difficult for me to hit my vegetable servings that I like to hit a day and my fruit servings. So for this meal, I just have a fruit bowl. I mix the mixed berries and the grapes and the fruit cocktail to make like a sort of fruit bowl. And then I have 
um, 300 grams of vegetable medley on the side. But yeah, guys, um, I hope that helped somewhat. If you have any questions, just feel free to drop them in the comment side. Um, I'll probably put some additional information in the description box because I'm sure I left a few bits out. But let's get on with the rest of the day. Rest of the day. Guys, just in relation to the video, I just want to say that you can use that kind of training style as a template. If you are a beginner, I would just suggest maybe taking away an upper and a lower session, so just four sessions a week. Or you can kind of manipulate it so it worked out as maybe three full day or three full body workouts. But um, I just want to also emphasize that it has been designed for me, and you'll notice in tomorrow's video that I've left out exercises that my body would take would take longer for me to recover from like um, deadlifts, like squats, like overhead press. I've left them all out, but I would include those in somebody else's program. I'd include that in the majority of people's programs. So just take note of that fact as well. Anyways, if you've watched it up until this point, I would just like to thank you for sticking around and for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do make sure to subscribe. There's going to be another one coming out on Monday that's going to take you through my lower body session as well as the macros in each meal. That's it for me. Anything to say, man? Break beyond. Much love, people. Much love. Okay. Yeah, that, that's it. I ain't gonna okay. lie. Gonna, well, like, no, no, no. no, no. Yeah, that was... Uh, was, was that, you was know, that, yeah. Was, yeah. That, was that okay? Yeah, it was okay. <laughs>